Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is the Captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. And today, what we have is Secret Lair has launched, so uh, if you haven't got it yet, uh, might want to go check that out. But with that said, there are some new cards that did get leaked that were not in the spoilers or information leakage. So let's go over what those are real quick, and by the time you watch this video, I hate to say it, stuff sold out really quick. So, before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, try and get to a thousand peeps once we do there's giveaway time. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the very first thing that we missed was in the card secret layer for Outlaws of Thunder Junction, there is a fifth card, it was Coffin Queen. We didn't see that one on the leak, so black and two. Uh, not a bad card. Um, this secret layer is already worth some money. This is just a bonus. Um, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I think the only bad thing about cards like this is there's no um, abilities on it. But, but, going back to the Texas cards we used to have way back in the day. Yes, I'm dating myself. Sweet Jesus. Um, I don't really have a problem with it, so that's what Oracle Text is for, right? And we all have Google now, so let's just suck it up, Buttercup. So, with that being said, this was really sweet. So, nice to see an extra card come in that secret layer. Now, moving on next, we have a secret layer that did not get leaked, and probably good reason, it's kind of just bad. But, but, uh, I do admit, I think it is kind of funny. So, it is a goblin secret layer of texts. Text, you know, like text messaging kind of thing. So, you have Brash Taunter here with the phone, red and four. And it says here, you know, it says the Taunter indestructible. Whenever a Taunter is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target uh, creature, yada, yada, yada. But what's cool is the flavor text in here, Goblin Chieftain, you're so hot. Fight me, lol. <laughs> um,. Run the last troll, skip leg day again. Oh my god. Um, yeah, uh, you have likes, dislikes, you have the send button, the whole nine yards. Goblin Chieftain's right here. Oh lord. Uh, haste, other goblin creatures you control get plus one, plus one, have haste. Hashtag too strong, too fast, too red and one. Goblin welder, hashtag blessed. Run the last troll. <laughs> hashtag gross. Is Thrun the last troll a uh, troll? Get it? Troll? Hey. Uh, this is starting to grow on me as I'm going through these cards. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, Goblin Ringleader, Red and Three. Uh, haste, whenever the ringleader is in the battlefield, reveal top four cards in your library, one in your hand, yada, yada, yada. Or not one, but all goblins. Uh, Goblin Chieftain says, Sweet Filter, hashtag Gob Mob. Thrun the last troll, lol. Glad I wasn't there. Yes, Thrun the last troll is a troll. This is so growing on me. Jesus, I didn't even think about this. Um, Goblin Welder for one. <laughs> Red. God, the duck face. Why? Um, he's got one like and one dislike. I guess he's got two each. Uh, Goblin Welder. Tap. Choose an artifact. Player controls. Uh, with an, and an, a target artifact card in player's graveyard. You can switch them. Uh, Brash Taunter says, That ride is a beast. Thrun the last troll says, Looks like an old ash tray, to be honest. Jesus. New respect for the Thrun, the last troll. I don't... I like the little pictures up here in the... Anyway, let's... let's Mog War Marshal, red and one. Uh, one like, one dislike. It's got the send. It's got echo. One... You get a one, one red goblin when it comes in. One when it dies. Uh, goblin ringleader. Love a hashtag ambush selfie. Thrun, the last troll. 100 staged. So... To begin with, and I first saw this, I thought this was the dumbest thing ever, including the pictures. However, now that I have taken the time to enjoy the flavor text, what this has to offer, uh, and kind of seeing the extra, you know, text kind of... I'm not going to lie, this is actually kind of neat. Um, I mean, th these aren't cards that I would play, but if you're a goblin player, how can you not want these? These are just hilarious. Um, yeah, so, 
War Marshal, not all that expensive. Ringleader is relatively expensive, not really. Uh, Goblin Chieftain is actually pretty good. Brash Taunter, not so much. Now, the Goblin Welder is a good card. Um, I honestly think this is also a... This is easily a B secret layer for me uh, at $29.99 and $39.99 for foil. Uh, and some of that's not because of the card value. It's simply because of the art and the theme. I I am so on board with paying for this kind of theme. Like, I, I don't know who at Wizards is or should have the credit for making this. Notice over here, these have, looks like there's cracks, like the phone is cracked, you know, i.e. their goblins, their phone's messed up. Anyway, um, so much cool stuff going on here. Whoever at Wizards came up with this theme deserves a raise. Uh, and they should be put in more in charge of more secret layers because if these are the guys that's been coming out with some of the secret layers here lately, it looks like they finally got their shit together because this is funny. And I am totally on board with it. We need this in our life. World's too damn uptight to not be laughing. It's like, seriously. This is, boy, is this something. Man, this is something. But anyway, moving on. Also, some other things. We had this secret layer come out, which is actually pretty good. Uh, it's a wanted poster for Kal uh, Kalatas, Trader of Get. Uh, very good card for not just Commander, but even some of the older formats. Uh, we have Magna, Brazen Borrower. I'm sorry, Ma Brazen Borrower. Jeez, that'd be a hell of a card, wouldn't it? Uh, Magna, Brazen Outlaw. This is the normal 2-1. Dwarves get plus 1, plus O. Oh. Create dwarves tap and create treasure. Sacrifice five, get things out of your deck. One red, sweet art. This is some sweet Geth art, um, or Kalatas, whatever. Uh, we have Dak Faden back. I'm really digging this kind of new, younger version of Dak Faden. And this card hasn't been reprinted in forever. Like this is an old card. Uh, target player draws two cards, discard two cards, gain control of target artifact. Uh, you get an emblem whenever you cast a spell. It targets one or more permanents. Gain control of those permanents. Like, I remember back when this Dak Faden came out, and it was like 100 bucks. Like, this thing came into Legacy and Vintage hot and heavy. These days, probably not so much. Still a good Planeswalker for Commander and what have you. Great Grease Fang art. Um, the original Grease Fang art is also really good. I like this because it, it's an electrified wrench. I mean, this is... This is so, like, Fallout slash Zombie Island kind of style. Not Zombie Island. Um, I forget what it is. Zombie game, you're on an island, you can make your own weapons. Anyway, again, this is a really good lot of cards here <clears throat> for the price. As you guys know, I am a little partial to the um, Wanted Poster style. I do like it. Um... I think the other cool thing about this is you see here, it's got the casting cost. The red side's over here. There's a blue side over here. There's no pips in it, but the pips are missing. So that's kind of cool. It's not on the red side. Here you've got black and you got the white side. You got a black side and another black side. Like this is just, I mean, there's a lot of cool things going on here. And I really do like this one. Uh, I give this one an A minus. Um, only because the two best cards in here, I mean, they're actually, they're all good cards. Um, Dak Faden, though, has really dropped in popularity. Still worth a good chunk. Uh, Magda, not really worth anything. Uh, Kalitas, he's actually worth some money. Grease Fangs, relatively cheap, but good in Pioneer. Um, and I say A-, minus, um, only because, um, it, it, I mean, I can't give everything a great score. Um, because the art is okay, but not the best. Uh, and the reason why I say that is as cool as this art is, this kind of gives me a Dungeons & Dragons feel. So does this, to a point. This looks kind of anime-ish, and this looks more like horror. So it's kind of a, a mix mash to me. I mean, they look, they line up together well, and they look good. Um, I don't know. I still think it's only an A-. minus. Um, I very easily could have that wrong. Tell me in the comments what you think. Um... So this was a sweet surprise secret layer as well. Also, we have two new leaks from Modern Horizons 3. We have Devour of Destiny, two colorless and five, uh, two wastes 
mana and five colorless for a 6-6 six, six Eldrazi. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, at the beginning of your first upkeep, look at the top four cards of your library. You may put one of those cards back on top of your library, exile the rest. When you cast this spell, exile target permanent. That's one or more colors. This seems really good, even though it is expensive. Um, I mean, if nothing else, this is definitely a commander card. Uh, just because, um, I mean, seven mana, make a 6-6 six, six exile something. I mean, that's fine. If it's in your opening hand, it might be something. This could be a really good combo card also uh, for some of the older formats since it has a first turn ability. It's, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Uh, and then, other than that, we only get a uncommon Breaker of Creation Eldrazi. God, that's the ugliest looking. That looks like a bug. Um, two waste mana, six colorless for an 8-4. Whenever you cast a spell, gain one life for each colorless permanent you control. That could be a lot. Um, especially since lands are colorless. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, a lot. Because you're going to get eight life when you cast it. Uh, it has hexproof from each color, so you ain't hitting it with nothing. Uh, and it has Annihilator 2. As an uncommon, pretty good. Uh, this might be something people start jerking out of graveyards. Um, if not, just played in Commander for the giggles. So, very interesting. A lot of leaks and spoilers coming out. Uh, as we get closer to Modern Horizons 3 and other news popping around, it's going to be kind of wild. So, stay tuned. Uh, it's hard to tell what's going to happen next. So until next time, be kind, and I hope to see you cross from the game table.